Hello and welcome to Visioning and your vision board and your goals and fantasies and dreams for 2023. I wanted to just put some direction and structure around the thought of doing a vision board or visioning what you'd like your life to look like in 2023. So I had a few ideas for you, but you know how you try to create structure in your day and create structure and regulation in your life. That's a really great thing, but it also can be something to be aware of. So I want to see if you can just think about a few of these concepts and run through your head. What sounds like you? So people with too little structure tend to be really chaotic or have really chaotic lives. People with too much structure tend to be too rigid, too Much spontaneity is deregulation, which means you never are self-regulated. You never have a routine. And too little spontaneity means you're pretty much not enjoying life or being in the flow. You're sort of deadened in your emotion. So let's talk about also ritual and routine. So we know that that's super important to have some routines in our life. So I wonder what ones do you want to keep from last year? What ones do you want to get rid of? And what new routines and rituals do you want to start? What kind of rituals and routines do you really enjoy? Do you always have in your life? And what ones in particular do you want to start and do differently? And maybe there's different activities you want to do. Maybe you want to have more structure in your physical life. Maybe there's some emotional and intellectual thing that you want to develop in yourself. So let's talk about which ones we're going to keep, which ones we're going to change, which ones we're going to add. I love the whole idea about hope and where hope comes from. And sometimes hope comes from the things we were able to deal with the parts of life that we were really challenged by and we were able to get through them sort of that resiliency that we developed so i want you to look back at your year your last year and what kinds of challenges did you overcome what sort of things that were you able to feel like i feel proud about that i really got through that and then i want you to look back even further about the adversity that you might have grown up in in your families And what kinds of things have you overcome all along? And maybe even generations of your family have overcome. So let's look at that too, because hope is something that we pass forward and that we can actually have a glimpse of. And usually someone showed that to us. But keeping hope alive and creating a new sense of hope also means trying to, again, bring hope forward, but having a plan about how you're going to do things in your life and have a life that feels really hopeful and full of joy and positivity. So I want to ask you, what's your plan for this year? Some things that you really hope for. And if you don't get to actually achieve that plan, what's plan B? So let's set a few bigger goals for yourself right now. Just throw a few of those things around. Like if I could accomplished X, Y, and Z, I'd really like to have this happening in my life, or I'd really like more of this or to develop that. So setting up something hopeful is actually not being overwhelmed by all the possibilities, but taking a minute, even right now, to take a few breaths and jot a few things down about what are some of the things that you would like to develop in your life that would give you a lot of hope? That would be something that you really want to put into place. So let's take a minute and do that right now. So when we write down what it is that we're hopeful for, and I just took a minute and did that too, you also want to add some flavor to it develop a little bit more and picture it like who's around you when you're doing this hopeful thing that you want and what's going on in your life can you picture it who are your friends who are the people that you care about what are you actually doing take a little bit of time to really picture it as you're writing down those statements so the picture turns into a decision it turns into a plan it turns into something that you implement And then there's creating the vision board. And the vision board is something that you can track throughout the year. I just got out my 
vision board from last year and the year before and really looked at like how far have, have I come and when you start assessing your vision board you start assessing what your values are and how your values can be translated into goals so your values are things that are meaningful to you things that you really care about so ask yourself that question what do you really care about what really means something to you and write down what those values are and then we'll translate them into goals. So what do you want and why do you want it? And then ask yourself another question. Does it have to do with your personality? And how does your personality actually do this value and do this goal? Because you might be completely, and you probably are, unique. And the way that this gets implemented is unique to who you are and to your personality. So let's set up, up a few priorities. So it's not so much as like you get to have a ton of different um, things that you want to do, but you really have to make it realistic and practical so that there's time to do all that you want. So when you're looking, I usually draw, and you'll get an example of this in the link, a circle. And then I start doing arrows about what are the things that I want to do and how much are those things going to take up time? How much are they missing in my life? But if they're going to take up time, I have to actually have time for them. So when am I going to actually do these things that I want to do? And that's where the structure comes in and the routine and the rituals. Like, how are you actually going to accomplish these things? So remember, the values could be all different areas. It could be improve my career, have a new career, have a love relationship, be close to the people in my family, create new friendships have a physical life, have a spiritual life, develop more creativity in my life. What are the things that are important to you? And how are you going to get really clear about what ones you're going to prioritize? So remember when we were talking about hope and creating more hope in your life, remember the translation of how these things are going to bring hope into your life, the new challenge, the new development of self, and the practicality of when you're going to do them. But the other thing is to think about one of the most important things, which this can be a tool for you to keep track of yourself. And you want to translate it into pictures so that you can see yourself doing it. You can see this visual starting to happen to you. So if you can do a collage type thing around each um, value that you have, and then when you prioritize, actually see if you can see it as an active thing that you're producing. So I'm really hoping that you'll share some of your vision boards with me. I will have a few rough drafts to share with you. And remember, 2023 can be anything that you want, but you really have to see if you can develop this sense of hope, this sense of value, this idea about ritual and routine, and seeing the things that you might need to develop within yourself so that you can accomplish this. There's no pressure, right? This is about get creative and get to it, but really plan something for yourself so you have a magnificent year, that you have the life that you want, the relationships that, that you want, and the feelings about yourself that will lead you to more harmony and self-love, because that's what it's all about. It's about you developing yourself in this world, in this gift that we call life, that we get to be in in and on the planet that you get to do that unique to you so happy new year 2023 and share with me your results and if you have questions and you want me to develop any part of this vision board and this visioning please let me know i love to have more conversations about it take care and bye for now